morning, Marvin. Good morning. And it's Officer Henderson, Miss. License and registration, please. Okay. What's here? Hmm. Uh, did you lose your license and registrations again, Sharon? No, 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 it's in my purse. It's gotta be here somewhere. Was I speeding again? Oh, no, no, you weren't speeding, not this time. Well, let me ask you a question. Does that big red sign mean anything to you back there? Now look, we don't want any accidents out here, do we? I forgot to stop again, didn't I? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. How's the writing going? Well, I'm still gonna write you this ticket. I know. It just, all well, the writing, so. Go on. Different, you know? Definitely has potential. Potential? I gave you the ninth draft. I know that. It's really, you know, raw. You know, fresh is what I mean. <laughs> but I thought we agreed that Harry can't just kill his wife because he's unhappy. Well, maybe Harry, he does need to do something. You know what, maybe he kills her, then he tries to kill himself, but through some way, he survives somehow. Or maybe he just lets her go. Yeah, maybe he just lets her go. That'll be, maybe he just lets her go. Maybe he just lets her get the hell out of here. <laughs> read all the books. You read them all in one week. Mm-hmm. And I wrote a review on each of them. Although only one was worth reading. The rest were the usual fluff. You say that like it's a bad thing. In the Storm is the new Rachel Harson novel. I'm sure it'll be a bestseller too, but I don't get it. Have some kebab. I have an offer for you. We'll have the wedding here. A big wedding. A beautiful wedding. In return, you will do a big feature on Ms. Harson. And we'll put it on the cover of the online issue, as well as three pages in the print. Publication. Mm -hmm. You've been asking to write feature stories. Here's your chance. Rachel Harson. The real story. Darling, go and interview her. Write classy stuff. And I promise we won't change a word. You know she doesn't give interviews. She hasn't met my daughter. Right. Shireen! My dress! Shireen! Oh, shoot! Oh. Azizam, is that beer coming? Coming! Thank you! Hey, Vicky, it's me. Um, I have an emergency. No, not another fire. Um, do you have any beer? Hello, boys. Hello. Hello. Hi, Vicky. Achap chichari in Baba. Who is this blondie? Take it easy, man. a patient. She's a patient? Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving her a filling, huh? I would love to adjust her tailbone. 
you're, you're not even a doctor. You're a chiropractor. That's a glorified masseuse. I make people walk with beautiful forms. What do you do? Fill up their phenomenals? Thank you so much. Of course. Oh, how romantic. After all these years, Mike still sends you flowers. Yeah. American men never do that. Here goes. Thanks, beautiful. What would it be? Tastes so good. Oh. <laughs> Mike is so adorable. He did such a great job on these. You should feel them. Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Okay. The tall one. The other doctor. Uh -huh. Is he married? No, he's not married. I'm Ivan. I got a chandelier in my car. Hang it. Just chandelier. Just hang it. Tone it down, man. You're a little creepy right now. I want to be married, too. I love her. I could look at her one of her hair all day and just wonder why did it wave like this instead of like that. What are you reading now? Hmm? Oh, it's the new Rachel Harson novel. <sighs> oh, she has a new one? Yeah, in the storm. It's an advanced copy. I love her. It's her best yet. Once I'm done reading it, I'll let you borrow it. And I'll bring you some more beer. Forget the beer. Just bring the book and the tall doctor. <laughs> As is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, please, I don't want to. Come, Come on. on. Not tonight, please. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Enjoy. Go enjoy the food. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get out of here, please? Yes, honey, we will shortly. I just want you to meet Ali. Ali, we call him Ali Dobe. I'm glad you found something to look at. Just sit in. Pleasure to meet you. Great. It's pretty cute. Uh, well, I was a human rights attorney, and uh, I gave it up to write. She's a book reader for the magazine. This one. Mm -hmm. Big fan of Rachel Harson. You do whatever you want, honey. As long as you quit when we have children. And you know I want a lot of children. Mm. Oh, here's to Rachel Harson. Mm. And in the storm. How would 350 is the best way? Oh, come on, Jaro. Oh. Me down to Sosa. Oh. 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 <laughs> Darling, I promised Roya that we're going to have grandchildren before too long. Now, you're not going to disappoint us, are you? <laughs> I'll do my best. Don't keep on touching your hair. <laughs> Dr. June. Sherry June. What are you talking about? Sherry, come on, come on. Honey. That's okay. Um, she's just bye bye. nervous about the wedding. Let's have the music louder. Right, let's bring me. It's interesting. Here, you go wash your face. I'm gonna get you a water, okay? I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Don't you just love this music? It's raining. You should probably go back the inside. Door. Yeah, okay. All right. Um. <gasps> Where do you want to go? Please don't send me back. Uh, okay. What, what, you just want me to go? Okay. Um. Just go. Just go. Okay. So, where are we escaping to? Just go straight. If I go back, I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, straight it is.
straight. Any other suggestions? Nope. Dude, I got a girl in my car right now. She's passed out in the front seat. It's it's the pretty book reviewer in the purple dress that was drinking too much tonight at the party. But long story, I need your help, okay? Because I, I don't know what to do with her. And she's beautiful, so please call me back. Oh my gosh, look at that. She's so drunk. <laughs> you were that drunk last night. No, yes you were. <laughs> Rick, Rick, it's Will. Please pick up, please. I've got this girl is in my room right now. Okay, yeah, the, the girl from the party. <laughs> She's now in my bed. So um, you gotta, you gotta come here and you gotta help me handle this right now, please. Hey, hey, you need to wake up, please. I gotta take your clothes off. Cause you're gonna get pneumonia if I don't, okay? So, I'm just doing that. <clears throat> An engagement ring? You don't drink whiskey. There was a guy here. I'm going to kill him. No, you're not. What do you mean, no, I'm not? My, uh, my, my fiance was in bed with someone. Calm I... down. Let me explain. Calm down. Uh, my fiance is in somebody's bed. Oh, oh, my God, I'm going dizzy. Here. Oh, thank you. Where is he? I'm gonna kill him! I don't know how this happened, Mike, I swear. What am I gonna do? I had a call from Rick Davidson this morning. Shireen had a little too much to drink, so she asked Rick to give her a lift home. And then ended up in bed with him. Oh my God! Here, thank you. Dr. June, you'll be very happy to know that as soon as he brought her back to his hotel, he went straight to his boyfriend, Trevor. 
You should never let her drink in public. Calm down. Thank you. That's a red hair. Do you see any other redheaded Asians walking around here? <laughs> Major health code violation. I am not eating this. Helena, I, I need to talk to you about something kind of important. I just found out my mother's really sick. I'm sorry. That's terrible. They don't think she's gonna make it to her next birthday. I need more wine. It's empty. Can I have? Are you gonna eat? Yeah, I have it. That? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Broccoli. The long ones. It's like a combination between like asparagus and broccoli. Mm. This is so good. Thanks, babe. All right. Please be careful and don't drive fast. I won't, Dad. She couldn't drive fast even if she wanted to. I can't believe you'd rather drive seven hours in this piece of junk instead of taking a one-hour flight. You know I hate to fly. And please don't call Zuzu a piece of junk. You know I don't want to put my first car to sleep. The keys are in the ignition, honey. Oh, yeah. And you got the GPS, too? Uh, yep. And I have this just as backup. Where's your ring? Oh, uh, I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere. Oh, my God, you lost it? How could you lose? Oh, my God, Hawk to Center. Do you know how long that ring's been in my family? Since my great, great, great grandmother, five generations, more than I'm out of Mikushi. Doctor, doctor, don't let your blood pressure go up. I didn't lose it. I just can't find it. She didn't lose it. She lost it. No, she can't find it. That's different. But then she lost it. What's the difference? No, no. She didn't lose it. She just can't find it. But it's the same thing. She, she lost no, it. No, no, no. It's not the same thing. She just can't find it. <sighs> she lost it. You know what? Let me handle this. Good morning, Officer Henderson. I... It's coffee, okay? It's coffee, and I spilled it chasing you! No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, you didn't stop. You didn't stop at the stop sign. I sent your manuscript to an agent friend of mine. You know what? My new partner's sitting back in the car there. It's not gonna work this time. Oh. That's all right. Oh, oh. I know the number. Oh, six. Let me tell you. Are you leaving town? Yes, sir. Are you leaving for a long time? Yes, sir. Good. Officer oh, Henderson, have you thought about changing that ending? Well, I thought about, you know, when he kills her. I thought maybe I'd make that a dream sequence. Well, uh, dream sequences are kind of a movie thing, so. I don't know. You let me think about it, all right? Promise me. 
if you stay off my streets for a few weeks, I'm not gonna write your ticket, okay? I promise. Promise. You promise? Promise. Because I don't want to see you anymore. Thank you, Marvin. Is no left. Recalculating. Recalculating. Turn left. What? You want me to drown in the ocean? There's no left. Turn left. Yes, may I help you? Hi. Yeah, my car broke down. Can I use your phone? Oh, sure. Come on in. Thank you. Oh. I locked myself out of my car. Oh. You better wipe yourself off before you get pneumonia. Yeah, yeah clearly that's not going to work, so I'll, I'll get you a bigger towel. Okay. Thanks. Here. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Ugh. you know, why don't you make the call later? Come on with me. It's just, yeah, just follow me. It's good. Okay. Now, come on in, sit by the fire. I don't want to bother you. If you could just give me a number for a taxi, I'll go to a hotel and find somebody to help me with my car. You're not from around here, are you? No. Los Angeles. Because the closest hotel's about 20 miles away, no one is going to come out here in this weather. Stay here tonight. You can take care of everything in the morning. Oh, that is way too much trouble. No. I... Shh. I don't want to hear about it. Please, sit down. Oh. Oh, no, I, I really shouldn't be drinking. You know, if you have just one, Keeps you very warm. Okay. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. So, what are you doing around here? Work. I'm a journalist. You're a journalist? Well, not really a journalist. I'm more of a book reviewer for a magazine. I'm looking for someone. She's an author. Her name's Rachel Harson. Hmm. Uh, 
May I ask why? Uh, I'm writing a story on her. Although I'm pretty sure she won't talk to me. She seems like a pretty difficult woman. You know, that's funny. I've heard the same thing about her. Yeah. What magazine did you say you wrote for? BH Style. Have you heard of it? No, but I'm... I'm not a magazine person. I'm sure it's very nice. Uh, truth is, it's my first big assignment, so I'm a little... So you're nervous? Yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about work anymore tonight. You're tired, you need your rest. Take that with you. Okay. <laughs> you're very kind. Oh, you have found me out. This is my son's room. Oh. Well, at least it was his room. Oh, he's so cute. Yes, he is cute. I am so sorry. I didn't even recognize you. Well, why would you? See that picture? That was taken 30 years ago. <laughs> anyway, you need to get your sleep. Good night. Good night. Raggedy, and I've been out there every day. Hi, Mrs. Horst. Oh, hi. No. No, not, not, no, not you again. Uh-uh. You two know each other? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude, but we don't want any journalists in my house. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, don't strain your voice. You know, this is my house. She's um, a guest. Mom, of she is a journalist. She, she's you know not, what that means? She told me she's a book critic. Yeah, which, for, uh, really? You no, know, yes. Can I talk she's to you alone a, for a just second? Just wait a minute. Just sit down. First of all, I'm going to take Shrin and put her back into the bedroom. Go on, honey. You are really embarrassing me in front of my guest. Really? Sure. And how do you even know her name? She is not feeling well. I think she has a little bit of a temperature, so she might have to stay a night or two. Another night or two? I don't want to talk anymore about it, okay? Thank you. She's cute, isn't she? She thinks you're cute. Here. Take that perfect tray and be nice. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry to intrude. I'll leave. 
Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I, um, you know, what happened back there? Let me see if I can. Oh, man, you know, I knew that was gonna happen too. It's I'm okay. sorry. I'm, it's okay. It's kind of been one of those things. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'll um, I'll get you some more orange juice. I'll get you another. One. Oh no. <laughs> Where have I seen you before? Um, I think, I think we met at a, at a party one time. Here, please sit down. I don't want you to hear your voice. In. Thanks. Yeah. Um. Great. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Happy boy. <Huh>? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why my mom has that. Yeah, no, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't quite as happy as, as I look here, but, uh, but I was an amazing chess player, so, you know, bit of a loner, though. Zuzu. Hmm? What'd you call me? Zuzu, my car. Oh, <laughs> you dropped it? Great. <laughs> Five second rule, you can still eat that. Thank you. Yeah, I noticed that you got the blue beetle. Yeah. I used to have a beetle. Um, it's my first car, so. Thank you. Oh, um, I gotta take off. Okay. Yeah, but, um. Thanks, okay. Yeah, feel better, take it easy. Please, tell your friend not to honk. Her name's Helen. Mom, it's been that way for seven years. But I'll tell her. Bye. Hello? Yes? Is she okay? Thank you. Thank you very much for calling. Goodbye. Well? She is fine. That was Rachel Harson. Rachel Harson? A cell? Shirin is sick. She has a high fever. Great. Great? Are you out of your mind? Don't you get it? It's Rachel Harson, the writer. She got her. That's my daughter. Harson's latest work is a literary sensation, combining a magical illumination of the ordinary with exquisite lyricism, laced with elegance and compassion. A tragic love story which brings to mind the best of Annie Poole. Wow. Hey, the best. She gives it four stars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to be out of bed. Oh, I'm feeling much better. Thank you. Here, let me uh, <clears throat> get your chair. Yes, have something to eat. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, you want some meatloaf? Oh, yeah. yeah. Some, uh, some meatloaf. Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, almost forgot. You, uh, you left these. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm always losing things. I'm hopeless. No, you are not. And I'm gonna tell you why, Missy. See this? We just read the review. You're a fantastic writer. William, tell her how good she is. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> Where did you go to school? Uh, Oxford for undergrad, then Oxford, Columbia Law. Columbia Law! Now I'm learning how to write. Hey, don't be so modest. You are a very good writer. Oh, that 
means so much coming from you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you write too? Um, me? No, I, um, <clears throat> why? Uh, your room, all those books. Oh, that's my fault. See, I used to be an English teacher, so I made him read all the books that I love. And it was horrible? It was not! <laughs> yeah, I didn't think a teenage boy would read all the classics, especially the ones written by women. He's a very unusual man. Elizabeth Bishop is one of my favorite poets. I hope you don't mind, but I was going through your collection of poetry in your room and love the notes and the margins. <laughs> this is not like the big city, you know. It's, he had a lot of problems as a teenager. I don't mean problems, it was, it was a... I know, not for me, but you know, for William. <laughs> Mmm. Good, huh? Mmm. <laughs> I'd love to get the recipe. Oh, well, I just put it together. It's his recipe. He is the chef. <laughs> oh, you know, my father's the chef in our house, too. Really? <laughs> um, shoot, you know what? I gotta, I gotta, gotta go. go yeah. Um, you guys enjoy. Okay, and, uh... I love you. I love you. Okay. And, um, yeah. Good night. Yeah, good night. Here, I have some veggies. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have some tea. He's so good looking. <clears throat> he lives in that lighthouse down the road. When the weather is really, really stormy, he listens to the radio in case somebody needs help. Interesting. His father died 12 years ago in a horrible storm. The Coast Guard couldn't pick up the signal because it was too weak. And William left New York moved back here and bought a whole bunch of high-tech radio equipment. And he sits there. And he listens to the radio, and he can hear even the weakest signal. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Oh. Just like the character from In the Storm. I suppose I'm revealing some family secrets. Oh, no. I am definitely off duty tonight. No, you write. You write what you want. You write the truth. I don't have a problem with that. And I wish William would just stop hiding. Oh, I'm... I'm sure that's for you. Do you mind answering it? Okay. <laughs> Hello, Miss Harson. It's me, Mom. How come you call Mike and not me? Be professional. Don't forget why you're there. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, I have to go now. I'll call <clears throat> you tomorrow. Did you find your phone? I know. Please don't worry. I was at the store this morning. I got cinnamon hazelnut coffee. We're all set. Honey, you didn't have to go to all that trouble. Oh, that's fine. You look like you're feeling better. Yeah, I am. Thanks. Good. You know what, William? Why don't you take Shireen out for a lovely drive? Oh, no. I have to... I have to get back to L.A., so... Yeah, it's a long drive. Yeah. 
Honey, she came all the way up here. Now, don't you want to see how beautiful everything is? What a good idea it is. Get out, get some air. What a great idea. Mom, there's Ready? not there's not Let's much to see, it. really. What are you talking about? She's all the way up here and you're not going to show her around? <clears throat> Honey, wait till you see the beauty of the landscape and the flowers. So what do you think? A good idea? Okay, good. see why Rachel's work is so inspired. This is magnificent. This is the main setting for Under Blue Skies, isn't it? Yeah. So what do you want to write about? Come on, you got a novel in there, don't you? What makes you say that? Maybe it helps that I have a writer in the family. So why'd you stop? Who says I ever started? Really? Okay, I've written 600 pages, but I haven't touched it in nearly two years. Why not? A fear of failure, probably. What if no one wants to read it? What if it's bad? Just write another one. Easy for you to say. I need to move somewhere peaceful so I can write. Definitely old enough to live on your own. How'd you know I live with my parents? I guess. I'm sorry. I, um, the way you were dressed and, uh, <laughs> your mannerisms, it was... Well, just so you know, I didn't have much of an income after I graduated, so I had no cho choice. I just the same. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It was... It's none of my business, really. You are so lucky. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, Mr. Adventure, why do you still live with your mother? I don't live with my mom. I live next to her. <laughs> right. Like, right next to her. <laughs> next to her. And if you must know, the truth is, is that um, I live next to her because she's not well. Oh. I'm sorry. Perhaps you're right. Maybe I miss her cooking just a little bit. <laughs> Anything else you want to pick on? <laughs> well, I mean, since you asked, you should really get some new clothes. You don't dress very well. No, you're going to go there. All right, well, at least I don't look like a dentist assistant, so. A dentist assistant, really? Because mm -hmm. this is your sweater. And you wear it well. Thanks. And I love to feel you shaking. Your head upon my chest And your eyes won't let you fake it You know they say it best 
And you wear my T-shirt And oh, you wear it well one of the few people in it. He doesn't really meet new people. Hmm. How long have they been together? I'd say about seven years, give or take. You see, when he came back from New York, his spirits were really low. He was drinking too much. And he knew Helen from high school. She was the manager of the local bar, which was his favorite hangout. She was really a good influence. She was his friend. She kind of brought him back to life. Hmm. So, what about you? I mean, do you have a boyfriend or are you? I'm actually engaged. <laughs> I lost my ring. I'm an idiot. His name's Mike. Our families have known each other since we were kids. Now he's a plastic surgeon. Really nice guy. My mom really loves him. I'm very happy for you. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna pry. Why are you writing for BH Style? <laughs> because my mom's the owner. And because I'm a coward. I think you're very special. Let me get some coffee. I don't know if you want any. Uh, uh. Rachel! Rachel? You know, I was always afraid that something like this would happen when I wasn't with her. I'm grateful you were there for it. You can't be there all the time. I'm glad I was there too. You smoked. I don't. <laughs> Give me that. It's a hospital. You know. The dialogue in Rachel's novels feels so authentic. She must rely on your help, right? Next question. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. It's just Rachel really knows how to capture this place, you know? The sea, the villages where the fishermen live. She has such strong insight into the pain her characters are feeling, and yet, there's such optimism and romance in her writing. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear your analysis. You, on the other hand, I can't quite figure you out. I mean, if Rachel bases all her characters on real people, where do you fit in? You're James from In the Storm. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, there's no way Rachel based a sailor on me because I put one foot into a boat and I turned green. Yeah. Now my father, on the other hand, that guy was a fisherman. So Rachel wrote about your dad. I don't know, maybe. 
I mean, can you imagine? I have to grow up in this, this fishing town. My father's this great fisherman, and I get seasick the minute I, I, I step in a boat. It was a disaster. I think you turned out all right. Will you come sit next to me? You just seem so far away. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't bite, you know, just... So, William, where did we meet before? What party? Most guys don't greet me with, oh no, not you again. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was like a month ago, some fancy Persian party in Beverly Hills Mansion. Darling, I promised Roya that we're gonna have grandchildren before too long. Now you're not gonna disappoint us, are you? I'll do my best. Don't keep on touching your hair. Oh, yeah. My mother's party. I had way too much to drink that night. <laughs> yes, you did. I don't know why my mom buys all these dreadful paintings when there are such great artists in LA. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. I'm Sylvia Nelson. The purveyor of a second-rate dribble. You tore apart in your magazine. Uh, oh, gosh. What, what, did I do something stupid? No, I mean, yeah, you were a little wobbly, but... Uh... I'm glad you found something to look at. You see it. Pleasure to meet you. Great. She's pretty cute. Uh, well, I was a human rights attorney, and uh, I gave it up to write. She's the book reader for the magazine. This one? Mm-hmm. The big fan of Rachel Mercy. You are a terrible liar. You're just like my dad. Your left eyebrow goes up when you lie. What do you mean? Yeah. Look, you're, you're no, doing it again I'm right now. Doing it right now. <laughs> Silly. Uh, great. Excuse me, but what about me? Is it uh, truthful? I think we just established that you can't handle your alcohol. So. Good. Whatever. To new friends. To loveless marriage. Wow. I mean, sorry, I am. Um, there's nothing worse than a relationship that's convenient, comfortable, and boring, right? I'll drink to that. Man, so what's our problem? I don't know. But I do know you don't need any more of that. No, I do not need any more of that. <laughs> I told my fiance about you. He asked me why I'm so interested in a guy who lives off his mother's income and sits around playing with his radios all day. Sounds like a smart guy. I'd listen to him if I were you. I'm not stupid. It's just the reporter and you just trying to get more out of me. Oh. Will you stop with all the reporter crap? Look at me. You always avoid looking at me directly in the eye. No, I'm, I'm looking at you right now. No, you're not. Look at me.
Mike? Sure, as I'm. Is everything all right? I'm on my way. Uh, th th that's not a good idea. That's definitely not a good idea. What? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Will you stop rushing me? You always do that to me. Sherry, what's going on? Nothing. I'm just having a really tough day. It's really busy here. And can you just come tomorrow? What? No, I can't come tomorrow. I'm already on my way. Just meet me at the local hospital, okay? Hey, sorry I'm late. Late for what? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> These are for you. Oh. Oh, wildflowers. They're my favorite. William picks them for me. I had a feeling about that. <laughs> you look a lot better. <laughs> Compared to what? Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. Huh. You look... I don't know, different, beautiful, rosy. Your cheeks are all flush. <laughs> Must have been the rush to get over here. Oh. My fiance, Mike, is coming to pick me up, so. I came to say goodbye. Bye? How about the interview? Oh, no, you don't worry about the interview. Please, just concentrate on getting better. You saved my life. I want to do the interview, I do. Write down your questions and put them on a piece of paper. Give them to William, and he's my right-hand man. It'll be fine. Rachel, I do... Do not argue with me. It's a losing battle. <laughs> I thought you knew that. Thank you for everything. I'm going to be fine. Oh, I wish I had some coffee and some cookies. You know what? Get me a vase from that nurse that has that mustache. <laughs> Don't tell her it's for me. She doesn't like me. Oh, gosh. Okay? All right. I, I'll get her. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, Paul. Hi, I'm looking for Miss Rachel Harson. One second. Yes, uh, room 241 to the left and immediate right. Thank you. Hi. What? What do you want? No, I just... Okay. What are you doing here? Came to say goodbye. Oh. Wow. It's pretty, isn't it? You should see it at night. If the sky's clear, you can see every star in the sky. say anything. I am... Um, I, I want to I say something. You know, ever since I met you, I...
It's my fiance. Yeah. Of course it is. He's probably trying to make sure he gets you to the church on time. Always in a hurry, so. I would be too if I was him. What are you writing? Um, this is, uh, this is my mother's manuscript. I'm pretty much her official typer now. Can I take a peek? Can I trust you? You already have. It's your most recent work. That's beautiful. Oh. I really have to go. Yeah. Something you want to give me, right? Um, yeah, um, it's not why I came. No, um, of course. I know there's something going on here. I just don't know what it is. Yet. Goodbye. Crazy. You're moving into the apartment of somebody you just met. You don't even know her. What if she's a serial killer? Oh. Um, you need to relax. We've been Skyping. It's all fine. Skyping? That's not talking. Nader, do something. What can I do? My Kala is fine. Give me a hug. Bye. I should have done this years ago. Did you see the way she was dressed? She gave away all her beautiful clothes. 
What have we done to deserve this? Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll see you in six months. Yeah. Have a good time, you guys. You have a simple, exciting concept. For a novel, that's not enough. But for a movie, it could be just what the studios want. High concept. Ooh, that's what I've got? High concept? Mm, I got concept. High concept. Um, is something bugging you? You want to talk about it? You know I got nieces your age. I'm getting married to a very nice guy who I've been with for a very long time. But I met someone new. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the first one, very successful. And the second one, Married, but not so rich. Kind of. I mean, he's got a long-term girlfriend, so... I knew it. I knew it. You know why? Because we police officers, we got a good sense of psychology. So what do I do, Dr. Freud? What do you do? Hell, yeah, you just run off with me. <laughs> Marvin. <laughs> okay. Only if you let me drive. Oh, hell no. Not the way you drive. Deal's off. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That ain't happening. Maybe I need more courage. Well, hell, let's drink the courage. And to all the writers in the world. You say you leave them today. You know, in all the years I've known you, I never, never seen you looking like this. Everything okay between uh, you and Helen? Oh shit, I thought you two were gonna get married. Ah, uh, you got another one, huh? I do. And she's getting married to somebody else. She pretty? Oh, Dale. She's gorgeous. You know, she's... She's pretty and, and she's, she's clumsy. <laughs> wow, sounds like you're really into her. She live around here? That's tough. Hold on to it. This one sounds like the one you don't want to let slip away. Hi, boys. Down to town for one more chance. I'd like to take, make all the plans we had to bring. But where'd you go? I don't know. I wasn't expecting you today. Rachel died last night. Darling, I'm so sorry. Why are you smiling? Do you think the sun will give you an exclusive? Can you send a photographer with you? Mom, put the phone down. Mom? This is a private funeral. No press, no television, nothing. I'm invited and I'm going. Yeah. Do you think you should be back? He shouldn't be found. I'll get a driver to take you. No. You don't get it, do you? I don't want a camera, and I def definitely don't want one of your photographers posing as a driver. But how are you gonna get there? 
Don't worry. I'm Sasha Kapalov from Russia. I take care of you. This is homemade vodka. You relax. You don't feel a thing. I don't drink. You don't? I can't hold my liquor. I hold it for you. Don't be silly. Everybody drinks, huh? Don't fix it. Okay. Nazdrovye. Please fasten your seat belt. Flight attendants return to your station. We're expecting some serious turbulence up ahead. Whoa. <laughs> Rachel. Oh, thanks for coming. I almost didn't make it. Uh, I tried to get here sooner. I'm really sorry. Don't apologize. She, she'd be happy you were here. I'm Helen, Will's girlfriend. Aren't you going to introduce us? Uh. I'm sorry, this is, um, this is Sharin. She's a friend of the family's. Hmm. Uh, nice to meet you. Well, it was great to meet you. Yeah. Likewise. If you don't mind, I'm gonna spend some time with Rachel by myself. Come on now. Don't make me nervous, baby. You know that position makes me crazy. You can do it. All right. See what you got. Shireen. Yeah? Ah! Shireen, what is this? What is this? What was that? Next time I get Vicky, you get Shireen, huh? <laughs> Shireen. <laughs> Shireen. I'm sorry. I'm What's sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Game, set, match. Loser buys drinks. Let's go. <laughs> Son. No, it did. Yes, it did. No, it did not today. It didn't happen. Trust me. Trust me. What? It didn't happen. Well, what? You didn't see it. Shireen, what are you doing here? Uh, I just thought I'd stop by and say hi. You play tennis? You hate tennis. Yeah, I know, and it was really hot out, and Vicky and Ed kept smashing the ball at me, and I kept missing because I'm really uncoordinated. You know that about me. And Look, I'm just really trying to make everybody happy, but I can't, so I don't know what the... I, I just... Please sit down and tell me what's going on. Why did you marry mom? What's the matter, Shiri? I just know you're unhappy every time you're around her. And I don't want to make the same mistake. So don't. The truth is that you do not need a lot in life. Find the man you love. But you never answered my question. Why did you marry mom? Back home. Your mom was in love with a rich Iranian surgeon. In fact, when he got engaged with someone else, she wanted to get revenge. So what does she do? She proposes to her college professor. 
me. Your mother was an excellent student, beautiful, rich, the whole thing. Of course, I couldn't believe my luck, and I said, yes. Before I knew it, you arrived. So I was part of the mistake. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You were the most wonderful thing that could ever happen in my life. The only thing that I'm sure I've done right. You've probably guessed by now who the real writer is. I didn't know how to tell you. And I was kind of embarrassed, but it feels so good to finally be able to tell someone. Hey, Will, you there? Oh, God, I hate leaving voice messages. Um, but I have so much I want to say to you. Uh, thank you so much for my present but mostly for trusting me. Fine then. Expect a call from my lawyers. Why do you dress like a beggar? Ain't get the whole shit. Mom, this is a brand new outfit. Never mind. We need to talk. Of course, Buttercup. How much did you pay for it? Mama. Darling, don't make that face. Tell me what's going on. Well, um... I think you should know that I've decided not to marry Mike. Do you have any idea how many women would give their right arm to marry Dr. June? I'm sorry. I can't go through with it. OK, what is it? Another woman? So we had a little adventure. Come on, he had a little fling. Let's be a big girl. Actually, it's nothing like that. I'm just not in love with him. You don't love him? No, that's not what I said. I love him. I'm not in love with him. This isn't a romantic novel. It's a legal contract. You're getting married. How many couples do you know that got married for love who are now divorced? I'm in love with William, Rachel Harson's son. What? Arlet Paride? That nutcase who stares at the stars and plays with his radio all night is in love with my daughter? Fortunately, he's involved with someone else, so I'm out of luck. My daughter has gone cuckoo! Uh, hi. Sorry to bother you. Uh, I'm here to see Shireen. Yes? Who? Really? On my way. I have to go to a meeting. Not a word about this, promise me, my dear, to anybody. Fine, fine, I won't say anything. I'm Shireen's mother, Mariam. Hi, I'm, I'm William Harson. I, uh... I didn't have an appointment, but I'm here to see Shireen. It's kind of personal. I'm so sorry she's not here, but I would love to speak with you. Would you join me for lunch? Uh, yeah, I love that. You have to forget about her. I can't. Ma'am, I'm in love with your daughter. She is a married woman. She's what? She went through with this? At the last minute, I agreed to drop the plans for a big wedding because she was in such a hurry. <laughs> Can you believe it? She went to Vegas. No, I, I, I can't. She got married in Las Vegas? On a bridge, over a canal, 
one of the most beautiful hotels. She got married in a mall casino. I thought it was very romantic. In Vegas. And fun. Really? Please, have some more kebab. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but a handsome man like you, I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding someone else. Shireen told me everything. You mean she told you everything? Everything. So, you know. I was shocked. But you know, mothers and daughters, no secrets. If the public finds out about this, I'm ruined. Do you understand that? You have to understand that we, we, didn't, we didn't plan this. You know, it just... It, started off as a joke and then and then we just we kind of went with it and you call something like this a joke no, we never meant to deceive anyone i promise you but you did deceive so you never trusted shireen no. you're not gonna publish this are you i want to be fair will you tell me your side of the story and please have some more gourmet sabzi Hey, we got your keys again, huh? You look very wild. Where, where'd you get that dress? This is for you. What are you talking about? Come on, let's go inside. No. I can't do this. I can't, I can't marry you. What do you mean you can't marry me? What? It's another guy, huh? That guy from the lighthouse, that hippie kid. Sheen, how could you? Mike, you're the type of guy almost any woman would love to have. Right. But not you. I'm sorry. Give my new friend a drink, please. Do you have a name? Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember it right now. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. That's funny. Mm. It is funny and it's true. Sometimes I go by William, you know? And then other times I go by Rachel. I'd prefer to call you Rachel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Seems like most people want to call me racial these days. Yeah. Why don't you come to my place and tell me about it? <laughs> she isn't worth it. If you only knew. But I tell you what I will do mm. is I will drive you home. You dumped Mike for this? Naughty night? What the hell? There must be some kind of mistake. Only in your choice of men. Revolting. This isn't like him. Which part? Picking up sleazy bimbos or driving through storefront windows? Bev, I'll call you back. You are a monster. Sweetheart! Don't call me that. I'm resigning. And I demand you publish a letter of apology. I was just about to say congratulations. You're not even giving me a chance. How could you do this to your own daughter? Calm down, darling. I thought you'd be thrilled. Thrilled? Please, let's not be too theatrical here. 
After all, this is BH style, and we do our best to dig out the truth. We're not just about fashion and gossip. No, no, we're about selling magazines. Whatever. The fact is, I made him confess his sins, and I was kind enough to give you the credit. You spent days at their home and came back empty-handed. He told me everything in 20 minutes. What are you talking about? He came by, asked to have lunch, and told me everything. I don't believe you. He wanted this to be a secret. you he was crazy, mentally unstable, self-destructive. Lots of writers are. It's so sad. Uh, hello, William? I don't know what's going on. I, I've called you five times. Please call me back. There's so much I want to say. I... I read the article. I I'm so sorry if I hurt you in any way. I, I don't know why you're not responding to my calls. Can you please call me? I miss you. Who is it? Hi. Hi. Can I come in just one minute? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Come, come in. What happened to you? I thought it'd be more your style. I thought you'd like it. You know, hippie. <laughs> it's interesting. Sharon, ever since I met you, I fell in love. I can't look at any other woman. Please take me back. I'll do whatever it takes. No more boob jobs, just nose jobs. Sharon, let's get married. My, I, I, I can't. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm gonna show you this. Look at this. Well, Mike, what are you doing? You're gonna like it. Mike. Yeah. No, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Hold on. No. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Come on. Smiley face. You can't say no to that. You're crazy. <laughs> Put your pants back on. <laughs> it was Ben's idea, but I think it worked, right? I think it's working. Oh. Uh, Excuse me, officer. Uh, any problem? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. I'm a, I'm a friend of Sharon, and I just... Uh, I couldn't get off today, and I just want to stop by and say hello. Oh, of course. You're welcome. She didn't tell me about you. The promising rider, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm working on this, sir. I'm working on this. I'm working on this. Yes, please, sir. please go have some champagne. Please. Well, thank you, but I'm still on duty, and I, I really should. Come on. It's only champagne. Besides, how often does my daughter get married, huh? 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 Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm speaking Farsi. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, speak Farsi, too.
please just sell the house at any price. I really feel sorry about what happened. <sighs> Thank you. I mean, I know people are angry with you, but it doesn't really make any difference. I mean, your novels have brought me so much happiness. That means a lot. I hope you write more. I mean, I don't know if you know how much they mean to people who still haven't found that special someone. <laughs> I can't help it, but I have to quote a poem from the very famous Persian poet, Hafiz, who said, As sedaye sukhane ishq nadidam khushtar. Maryam, but on jamas ki shirin chizi ehtiyaj dushe mushe. Don't worry, he always gives big speeches. Plus, I'm still expecting more important people. Let us look. سلام علیکم لیلا خانم هرتن چه داره خیلی خوش آمدید خیلی خوش آمدید خیلی خوش آمدید خیلی خوش آمدید 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 خوش what have you done? What do you mean? You hurt me. What did you do to save the marriage? Nothing. He came to see Shireen. I took him to lunch and made him talk. Trust me, it wasn't easy. Sounds of joyful music. What did you do? Hi, Hi how, how are you? How are you? Yeah. 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 you didn't really think Shireen could write that story, did you? Telling to one All's well that ends well. Right, darling? Bring this union oh. of emotion. Let me translate this poem for our American friends. That means I have never heard a better and more beautiful sound than the sound of love. Excuse me, sir. Uh, is everything all right? As a matter of fact, uh, sir, it isn't. We need to talk. Okay. Song of love. There's not going to be another one. What are you going to do now? I think I'm going to disappear. Moi, do you take this woman? as your lawfully wedded wife. I do. Shirin. Shirin, do you take this man as your lawfully wedded husband for wife? Shirin. Would you commit yourself to this man, Mike, and remain faithful to him for the rest of your life? Shirin, would you commit yourself to this man and stay faithful to him for the rest of your life? Oh, excuse me, please. Excuse me, please. Stand back. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, you. You're under arrest. What are you talking about? She's under arrest. You can't what? do what is this? this. I can do this. I'm a police officer. This is a way. You can't just come in and do that. She has over 300 outstanding tickets and she's under arrest. Well, you can't do that now. This is a way. No, no, no. That's not sir. Good. Stop it. Ma'am. You're under arrest. Come with me. No, come on. Ma'am, come with me, please. No, that's not right. Sir, sir. Oh. I, uh, I have a lawyer. Jose, I got a lawyer. Jose, step back. Would you please step back? Step back, please. Step back. Step back. Please step back. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Where you going? You can't take me. Call the police. I said go get the police. Call the police. Do you mind telling me what the hell is going on? Well, first of all, I'm probably going to lose my job over this. Yeah. But a writer has to be fearless. I mean, that's what you said, isn't it? Uh, pretty much. 
pretty sure I was talking about writing, Marvin. Well, your dad told me exactly what's happening here. Do you know William came to visit you, but your mother persuaded him to go to lunch with her instead? She told William that you betrayed him. Discrimination! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not right! Now, it seems like he loves you. Do you love him? It's up to you, Sharon. Uh, I'm warning you, my lawyers will destroy you. For once in your life, Mother, shut up! Well, neither do something! What are we waiting for? Let's do it! I did. Jan Jan, we got in I'm Jan. I woke up to the sound of my own voice I've driven sleeping alone due to messed up choices I made when I was younger Youth has turned me into this All the strange conversations I don't seem to solve Cause there's still a girl I still want to call If there was one I didn't write that article. I had to tell you myself. My mom tricked us both. You didn't come all the way up here just to tell me that, did you? God, look at you. You never look more beautiful. I'm gonna say what you're supposed to say to me. I love you. Will you marry me? I'm waiting for the afterglow of my life after her. And I'll be waiting somewhere screaming so loud, so loud to get you. Shirin, do you take this man as your lawful wedded husband? I do. As of this moment, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Shit, 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 shit,